if we can get the overhead cam, I would like to show people this uh, anal. And this anal is from, what is this? This is their fourth anal. There's only 800 of these in print whatsoever. And if we can get that document cam down here and I can position it, what you're looking at here is a Faustian play. And if you get Eye of the Phoenix, uh, America's Secret Beginnings, we held all three, they will tell you what this is about and what the Faust play is. But this is Mephesto. See right here. Uh, Tom Rickard was a picturesque Mephesto. And they also don't have women, so men dress in drag in these plays. They actually love it. They are into this campy kind of nature. In fact, I was watching, um, what is it called? It's the one with uh, Matt Damon and Robert De Niro directed it. I can't think of it offhand. But, you know, you can see they're campy. They're all in, like, hula dresses singing, you know, vaudeville tunes. Very campy stuff. Now, let's turn the page over here. And let's go to this. And let's zoom really, really far into this one if we can. Because all you can really see right now are men in suits of prominence right here at the bottom. But what do we see at the bottom? Oh, serpents drinking wine. Oh, and look, there's Pan. And there's Gaia, the male and female symbols. This is earth worship. And then you have more satyrs, as they call them, which are basically uh, the uh, the race of Pan in the background. And then if you you come up here... Right here, you can barely see it on this print, but the elite are riding what appear to be bat-like creatures. Weird. And this this is what they are into. This, this book, it was printed in 1930, but was the annals for, I think, 1897. Here, we're going we're gonna to come back here. From the years 1895, I'm sorry, to the 1906, and that's what this is. And they admit that the owl is their deity. Their deity. In fact, let's let's just go right here, zoom right in on this. Because I want them to understand that this is their God. They dedicate the book to our tutelary, which is teaching, God, deity, the owl. The book is reversionally and affectionately inscribed to their owl. Oh, how lovely. And then we're going to turn, we're just going to show you one more page. I want to save some of this for uh, Invisible Empire. We're going to be showing that out. And what do we have here? How lovely! A human sacrifice! Oh, but they're not into weird occult rituals. What you have here is the high priest wearing his uh, sun symbol on his head right there, his sun symbol, with a dagger in his hand. I've got I've to talk slow for people or they won't understand as I point this out and it hits YouTube. Holding a dagger in his hand while they hold out the sacrifice in place, much like you saw on Apocalypto, as they get ready to ram a dagger into his chest. Why are the elite into this weird, crazy stuff? And here's just another portrait of, of kind of the weird stuff that they're into. Dressing up like clowns. Again, they always like, you know, the yin and the yang. The male and the female. Everything is hermetic. It always has a double meaning. As above, so below. They believe these things. And there you have yet another man, a very prominent rich man, dressed in drag for these plays. So I'm just going to end at that. And I'm going to take some more calls. But if you're not hip to their tricks, you need to be. They do take this stuff seriously. They really believe this stuff. It's time to come to grips with this and become adults. Okay? When German chancellors write books such as Helmut Schmidt, declaring that they do pagan rituals, and their favorite place to do these pagan rituals is Sonoma, California at the Bohemian Grove Club, perhaps our ears should perk up, and we should listen to that man who is unapologetic about his beliefs. All right, let's take some more calls before we go to break. Let's go to David in California. David, you're online. Hello, Jason. It's a good show. And I wish I had prison on TV subscription because I didn't see any of that that you showed <laughs> So I hope you do uh, put that on Facebook. So. Well, what will happen is um, basically I, I don't post any of this stuff, but it will go up later tonight. Then if people rip it to the Internet or it goes to the Info Warrior channel and it goes to YouTube, then I do post it on my Facebook. And I try to post my Facebook, I don't know, two to three times a day, as many videos as I can so people can check out my work and what they listen to in the podcast or on the live stream. Go ahead. Yeah, I was wondering if you noticed uh, just the past few weeks you know, with all this health care debate, uh, Patrick Leahy from uh, from New Hampshire, who I love, by the way. I'm totally nonpartisan, but I, Patrick Leahy is one of my favorites. He came out and said, hey, what about those antitrust exemptions that the insurance companies get 
you know, why don't we talk about the antitrust exemptions, which keep them from compete from competing with each other? They can just set their own price and just mm-hmm. not have to worry about competing, right? Notice how it became big. It was big news for like six hours, mm-hmm. and then nobody talked about it again from that point on. Yeah, like, because when anything, of, any kind of yeah. information that really does challenge the establishment and the status quo, especially by one of their own, that they're very afraid of. You know, I'm sure they're freaking out about this Lord Moncton going on and talking about world government. So Patrick Leahy exposing the fact that this is really about collusion in this health care bill is not good for them. And he's a Democrat, isn't he? Well, yeah, I think he, yeah, he's or independent. But notice how nobody around us even remembers. Now, if you bring it up to somebody, they go, oh, yeah. I say, but nobody talks about it. Nobody talked about it the day after. And it never got – it never – even got mentioned in any debates. It was never a part of any anybody's bill. Of course, now what we have is they're they're going to make us buy for profit health insurance. Mm-hmm. You know, just and, and not only make us buy, but fine us if we don't. And it will be an extra exactly. tax, and it won't even be real health care. It'll be probably something under even what you would get, say, if you were on social services and on Medicaid. You know, and and they are not talking about that either. But what disturbs me even more, David, and I thank you for the call, is that most Americans don't realize that everything they do on their cell phone, everything they do on the Internet is now being tracked, traced, and databased in a second computer system when they split the lines. And this has been open source information since 2006 and thrown out of the Supreme Court twice now. With Eric Holder saying any of the other lawsuits also need to be thrown out for national security. You tell the average person like that, they look at you like you're from Mars. We'll be back after this. It's the Info Warrior with Jason Burmes.